What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe on Money financial channel and welcome to the stimulus check update and stimulus package update for April 30th, 2020. In this video, I'm going to go over briefly any updates regarding a potential second stimulus package. I'm also going to cover on some critical updates with respect to SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients and their eligibility for a stimulus check as well as a critical deadline coming up in six days. And the last thing I want to share with you is three quick and simple ways that you can be proactively saving money during this time of uncertainty and not knowing when things are going to get back to normal. Hey, if you find any value out of this video or if you learn something new and important to your daily life right now make sure you hit that like button below and click the subscribe button okay so quick update here on a potential second round of stimulus checks or a second stimulus package essentially nothing new has arisen here except for the fact that there is a growing and steep divide between what Republicans want to do and what Democrats want to do at this very moment now I'm sure that Democrats are huddling together to create a massive spending package that's going to promise a lot of benefits to America but it's also going to cost a whole lot of money. As soon as we have more information on what that looks like, I will jump right back in front of the camera and let you know. Odds are we'll hear more about this in early May. Okay, so now let's talk about some critical updates with respect to SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients. According to the IRS, both Social Security and SSDI recipients should have received their stimulus checks yesterday, so you should have them now. Of course, if your check is being mailed, you probably don't have it yet. The Treasury Department and the IRS have also confirmed that VA recipients and SSI recipients can expect to receive their stimulus checks in early May. Okay, I wanna give you a critical update here on SSI and VA recipients and your potential dependents that might qualify as dependents for the extra $500. If you are a recipient of SSI or VA benefits, and you potentially have a qualifying child that is living with you, a qualifying dependent, here are the steps you need to take by May 5th to make sure you are eligible for that extra $500 per dependent. If you are currently receiving SSI or VA benefits, if you did not file tax returns in 2018 or 2019, and if you have qualifying children under the age of 17, you need to immediately go to the IRS website and specifically to the non-filers enter payment information section and fill in all the appropriate fields to make sure that the IRS knows you have dependents that live with you and they can adjust your stimulus benefit as a result. Just so you know, if you don't make the May 5th deadline, you'll still get your benefit, but you will not get it until you file your 2020 tax return in early 2021. And just to make sure we're all on the same page, if you are a current recipient for SSDI, for VA benefits, or for SSDI, you are going to get a $1,200 stimulus check. And it's going to come in the same way you normally get your normal benefits, whether that is through direct deposit, in the mail, or via your direct express debit card. If you happen to be a new social security recipient starting in 2020, make sure you also go to the IRS website specifically to that non-filer form to make sure that the federal government has your current up-to-date information. Otherwise, you may not get that stimulus check. Okay, so here is the big question I wanted to answer as best that I can because I've been seeing this question all throughout the comments on my most recent videos. If I am a current SSI recipient and somebody can claim me as a dependent on their tax return, am I going to get a stimulus check? And the answer is, I think so. But there is nothing on the internet, not on the federal government website, not on the IRS website, not on the treasury website, not on YouTube, not on Google, anywhere that says if you are an SSI recipient and you are a dependent on somebody's tax return, you get the benefit. But on the other hand, there has been some clear guidance, especially from the AARP, which is probably pretty solid evidence that everybody who has SSI benefits, VA benefits or SSDI benefits are going to get a stimulus check with no additional action required. Based on that guidance, I'm saying yes, you're likely to get a stimulus check. Okay, so here's three quick ways that you can start proactively saving money during this crisis. The first thing you can do is switch your cell phone carrier. I switched from Sprint to Visible Wireless and because I have three other people in my party plan, we are each paying $25 a month for unlimited data. I have a different video on my channel if you're interested, but I'll also link to their specific website in the description below. You could potentially save 50 to $100 each month by switching your cell phone carrier. Second thing you have the option to do here is you can consolidate your streaming devices. Odds are most people out there maybe have cable TV. Maybe now's a good time to drop that by the way and switch to just streaming devices, Netflix, 
Hulu, Disney Plus. If you have other family members that also have streaming devices, now might be a good time to consolidate and then split the bill potentially. With Netflix, you can have two to four individuals depending on your package watching simultaneously. And this is an opportunity to save some money. Hulu's basic package is $6.49 per month. And Disney Plus is only $7.99 per month. If you are currently paying for cable and you are not in contract, cross your fingers, I would drop it immediately. Third thing you can do to start saving money is call your credit card company. If you have a balance on your credit card, call them, let them know you are struggling financially, ask them if they will defer payments or at a minimum give you a 0% interest rate while you try to get back on your feet in the coming months. I did the same thing back in 2008 with American Express and they granted me 0% interest rate for six months. The truth here is the worst they can do is say no and you always have the option to stop paying for your credit card. It's much more important that you make your housing payment than you do your credit card. And given these uncertain and crazy and chaotic times, you might be able to extract even bigger benefits other than just a 0% interest rate. I'm committed to helping as many people as possible with as many videos as possible each week. The great news for you is that even though this video is about to end, the learning doesn't have to stop. You can click on these videos right over there.